Yeah, I don't think it's ever snowed this bad here in my house. Look at my, look at the matrix. Look at the fucking matrix. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn, I can make a snowball out of it. Holy shit. Oh my God. Wow, that's awesome, dude. That is awesome, crazy. This is unbelievable. I have never seen my street this covered in ice. Hail, look at my car. Oh, fuck. Bro, look at all that ice. That is ice. Get inside, stupid dog. Get in there. Go. Get. What are you doing out here? Holy shit, you stupid dog. technically did day seven but i did not record day seven because i did a noobish mistake i ended up putting the i ended up putting the flex plate bolts from the manual transmission ones easy so when i bought this one easy from lkq it had said it was an automatic one zz but it was in fact a manual one's easy so the f so the flex plate bolts are different the the one for the manual is a little bit longer and it's a 12 point head the one for the automatic transmission it's a it's a little bit shorter and then at the very edge at the very tip or at the very end where the head is at it has a it doesn't have threads so it's able to I guess have a space in between for the for the shims the plates that go in between the the flex plate and the manual bolts didn't have it so when I put the manual bolts in the the um, crank wouldn't turn so I had to put everything back on pretty much everything was connected and when I tried to install my torque converter bros I couldn't turn the crank over with my hand by well by wrench and good old friend Irvin thank you very much explain to me the difference of manual transmission flex plate bolts or flywheel bolts whatever you want to call it from the automatic one they're different I can show you I would show you guys but I don't have they're already installed <laughs> obviously so yesterday Toby was here my friend and or the, the two days ago he was here he helped me put the motor back on. Thank you, Toby, I really appreciate it. But I had to take it back out and I had my pops help me out. Thanks, and thanks to my dad. It's back on and now all I gotta do is first I'm gonna do the, the torque converter bolts and then after that's settled, then we'll hook up all this right here. I don't want the same thing to happen again. Um,
Yes, people, we are finally gonna have nothing but sunny days. Rain has already passed. The forecast says we're not gonna get any rain. I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna show you guys the car. So here's the car. Um, I installed the head unit right here. This is the one that I got from my sister. This is the, it's an older model. I think I bought this maybe about three to four years ago. Um, it's still, it's still pretty decent, but she wanted a touch screen. And so on hers, it was weird because this would sit out a lot farther out. It wouldn't sit flush because um, 2005 uh, Matrix, they give you some weirder looking, um, I don't know, it's like adapter pieces that you put on the left and right, but this one has it all around, which is, which helps it to make it sit flush. And let's turn it on. You know what's hilarious? This car, oh, when I bought this car, it came with a full tank of gas and I was driving it around to clear out the, the coolant from the lines because I mean the coolant from the exhaust because it was just a lot of it so I had to drive the car uh, I don't know I drove it like at least like 20 or 30 miles around town try, try to clear out the exhaust and it starts up fine it doesn't start up with any issues starts up fine no check engine lights I did have a check engine light because I did not connect my evap hoses correctly and so all that's fixed, figured out. Um, huge shout out to Irvin. Thank you very much for helping me out with that. Um, it was giving me a multiple misfire code and then misfires in all four cylinders. Um, and so he told me how to um, route back the hoses because I, silly me, I forgot. And um, he ended up showing me how. And so the check engine light is all cleared up. Um, the airbag I used for another um, car that I had, so I took it out. So we gotta go get that from Pick and Pull. Uh, I keep forgetting every time I go. I, I get all these Celica parts, but I can't remember to get this from Pick and Pull. And it's hilarious. Car is really, really, really dirty. We gotta clean up this week. I'm gonna. De I'm probably gonna end up cleaning it all, detailing it on the inside. Just so when it gets painted, it's ready to sell. Um, I've been, as I said, I've been really lagging with the with the car project because it's been raining. It's I just showed you guys it's been raining. This is like the f second day it's been sunny out, and <laughs> I don't know. So car drives fine. I already took it out. It just needs tires. These tires are really bald. Um, they're not that great. So I ended up buying some off eBay. Um, see if it goes yeah don't want to do that too much on a cold engine but yeah engine accelerates really good the whole transmission shifts and it's it's really good I really like I really like that this project worked out pretty good I really like it so mm, it really needs a good cleaning see I got the I ended up getting the seats dirty sucks I can take them out and pay, give them a good wash because they feel really sticky right here like it's really nasty um see look right here they got like i don't know what this is i think they like opened the soda and it exploded on them look at this i did not see this when i went to go look at the car but i mean for 340 dollars you can't really complain like this car cost me 340 dollars when I bought it for my friend. Um, it came with everything. Um, it came with the 17 inch wheels that I wanted and it had new Bridgestone tires from Costco and it still had the receipt when they were like only three months old. That's the only reason I bought this Matrix and I ended up giving those to my dad. I, I already said all this so I don't wanna repeat myself. But all everything works, everything works. I already took off the tint. The front two windows don't have tint. Um, I gotta fix that. I gotta go get one from Pig and Pull. It's cracked right here. So we gotta go get that. I don't know, I'm, I might make a video just for Matrix stuff. Gotta do something about this right here. Gotta change this out to the USB because people nowadays want USB plugs. Um, I think that's it. Just for this quick update, let me show you guys the engine bay. There's the whole front end. Zip tied the license plate on. I gotta go back and cover these um, wires. These right here, I gotta go back and cover them up. 
We gotta go get that filled up. We gotta go get a cover for the for the ABS sensor for the ABS computer. So the whole reason I didn't record myself um, replacing the engine on the Matrix was because it was just bad weather. I didn't want to set up a tripod on um, right next to me and stuff. I probably would have knocked it over or something because I was crawling a lot under the car itself. I had to jack up the car a way high to be able to get the exhaust manifold um, on and off, um, the power steering pump. Uh, just a bunch of stuff you have to crawl under the car to get to. Um, yeah, those are so annoying to do on the floor. I wish I had a lift. Um, if someone out there wants to sponsor me, go for it. <laughs> Give me one of those lifts at the, the portable ones. It'd be really cool, but I'm not there yet. Hopefully, hopefully the channel grows. Um, I really do hope it grows. Um, we've been getting a lot of subscribers recently. Um, I think we're about to hit 500. I just need 500. I just need 50 more subscribers. And in the past month, I got like, like I think I went up over 100 just in the past month, which is crazy. Um, I really, I, I really forgot to make like a, like an announcement about it. I don't think I did do an announcement about it, but on um, my, if I, when I get to 500 subscribers, I will be doing a small little raffle. Um, I'm not going to be doing like a big giveaway, so to say. Probably going to do something small. Maybe like, um, I was actually thinking about, um, I was actually thinking about giving this away. Um, it's the 03 hatch handle or the, I don't know what you want to call it, but I was thinking about giving this away and maybe my, um, I actually left these out in the sun with the bags open so the water can um, evaporate out of them. So they're cleared out. Um, and they're not bad. It's just, I don't know. I think... I think you just gotta reseal them or something or I don't know. I don't I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna give these away along with this. So if you want it, enter the enter it. It's gonna be completely free. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna charge no one to enter. All you gotta do is I don't know, just leave a comment down that you know put me in or some just something something small like that. So no charge to enter. If you want those, enter the raffle. I will only ship to the United States though. I don't want to ship outside the country. It's really expensive. I shipped to Canada. I think I shipped side skirts to Canada and then it was like around $80 just to ship. <laughs> no, I, I can't do that. I, I just can't. So this is only going to be for United States. So sorry people, I, I can't right now. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Next video, I will be making more um, content for the Matrix, but actually recording myself do it, not like stop and say what I did. I feel like that's kind of boring. Um, and someone did point it out to, to do it that way. And so you guys got to remember, this is, I'm learning as I go. I, you guys got to tell me if I got, if I'm doing something right or wrong, let me know. Uh, I'm open to ideas and stuff like that. Like suggestions, Just tell me how to do this. Tell me how to do that. Tell me how to do it like that. Or I'm done. No, no, no. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification button, share, and thank you guys for watching.